Hey everybody, my name is Ketamon, welcome back for another video of Choice of Life Middle Ages 2 boys. We're going to continue this series. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun playing this game for you boys. Uh, we're going to continue it. Hopefully this time around we're going to be able to actually beat the troll. Uh, it's literally the only thing we got to do right now. It's We got to beat the troll and we uh, got to beat him somehow with the help of our of our uh, of our armies, so we got to do something, boys. So together with Michelle, you get to the meeting point near the trolls. There, Paladin is in full strength, awaiting your order. Investigate. So we're gonna do the same thing we always do, boys. I'm gonna move over, and uh, I'm gonna do the same thing I, I was uh, doing. All right. I'm gonna say attack because that's what the paladins want. Beat him. All right. So the trolls threw the assassin into the cave and rushed at you. He'll help the wound, attack the trolls. Uh, I'm gonna be... See, here's the thing. Every time I try to attack the trolls, it hands badly. I'm gonna try and help the wounded. Right here. So the wounded Orlando is lying unconscious on the ground. He's tightly squeezing a flash, uh, flask in his hand. Uh, bring Orlando to his senses. Pour, uh, pour from his flask. I'm gonna pour uh, some, uh, some water. To be conscious, Orlando is trying to greedily catch the fall, fall, uh, falling droplets, droplets with a stung. Orlando quickly drains his flask and, as if nothing had ever happened, rush, rushes back into the battle. All right, well, let her go. Continue the battle. So the troll separated you from the paladins by knocking down a tree. Now he's looking at you, uh, at you like you're easy prey. Run. Get ready to fight. I'm going to get ready to fight, boys. Let's go. The troll raises his arm. Uh, jump back. Troll lands a hand. Didn't really, uh, but I, he did not manage to uh, hit me. Good. We're good, boys. Uh, stab with the dagger. Leaning onto his hands. The troll is just really trying to grab you with the other. Not going to dodge this time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stab with the dagger. You're, you pierce the troll with your dagger. He rolls in anger, grabbing you and having a way with, uh, from him. You are away from him, okay? You are, you are a land painlessly... Uh, you... You land painlessly on the um, moss-covered ground. You even manage to keep a hold of your dagger. All right, let's go back to battle, boys. We got this. We gotta beat these trolls. I know I can do this. The troll rushes to the ram, but Michelle's arrow stops him. He pulls an arrow from his shoulder and looks around for the shooter. All right, here we go. We got Legolas on our on our team, boys. While I'm fighting him with my sword and my daggers. I got Michelle over there sh sh shooting him with his arrows. That's good. Hit the troll uh, with the dagger. With a, a, a dagger, run. I'm gonna hit him with a dagger. Let's see what happens. Ah, I lost an arrow. Contrary to your expectations, the troll knows this. You're approaching and kicks you back uh, towards Michelle. All right, that did not work. Paladins jump up to the troll, and he turns his attention to them. The second troll comes out the cave and hurries to help his relative. With two trolls now, it's uh, Michelle grabs your shoulder and screams in your ear. Uh, yeah, with two trolls, it's gonna be tough, boys. Even more tough. Uh, there's a rotten tree on the hill and a stone, which will be an excellent springboard. Uh, throw down the tree in time, and it will fly straight into the trolls. Okay, that's a good idea. Let's do it. Then let's hurry up before the paladins fall in battle. Yeah, run after Michelle. You run to the tree and slightly cut it into, uh, into it. You're getting ready to push the tree. If you throw it now, then it will only fall into one troll. But if you wait a little longer, you might completely miss your chance. Bide your time now. I'm gonna bide my time, boys. Here it is, the best moment. The tree lands on both trolls and flattens them to the ground. There it is. Got a strategic, boys. We got it. Oh, Duke. That little piece of iron, what did you do with it? And you, sit ahead, you're a duke. You're the duke. We must first speak and then wave our fists. What would you like? Our cave? So take it. A duchess? Who the hell is that? Spare them? Send them to the court? I'm gonna send them to the court. Let's go, boys. Thank you for the fight. It was great. Uh, we'll take care of the trolls and deliver to, uh, them to the mayor, mayor grave. The noble ruler of these lands will decide what to do, what to do with them. There we go. I'm going to look for the assassin. Let's so hope that we can actually find the assassin because that's what we were looking for in the first place. Uh, you find the assassin in the cave. Good. 
He's been diligently embroidering the saddle at all this time and never even stopped a minute. Uh, sir, how can I thank you for saving me? I owe you my life. If not for you, then my hands would have turned into one continuous callus from all this suing. Well, tell me about your group of assassins. Yeah, wh uh, why don't you just tell me about your group? You you are the prince we ordered to, the ki to kill. How did you survive? Unbelievable. Listen, I'll tell you everything. Just prom uh, promise you'll let me go. Well, how am I supposed to believe him? Yeah. Michelle first looks dumbfounded at the assassins and then at you. Yes, to tell with the, uh, to hell with them. They just left me here to die. I don't care if the entire gang is, sla is slaughtered. They don't even know I'm still alive anyway. I just want to get out of here and start over. I don't know if I should trust them, boys. Uh, does your gang have a lair? Who gave, uh, who gave the order to kill me? Who's the ringleader? Uh, how about a, a lair? Yes, give me a map. Look here, this path behind the castle. It's located between me, uh, two crooked uh, pines. When you reach the end of the cave, you'll see the lair. Okay, good. Well, uh, who's your ring leader? Who's the leader of the uh, the assassins? Ultra Ulrich, the, that bastard. But even I don't really know him. He is a terrible secretive and only talks to us about business. Alright, so who gave the order to kill me? I don't know. Only our leader met me uh, with the messenger, but he didn't tell us anything. All right, that's enough then. So I guess, I guess what we got here is we don't know who ordered the kill, but we know uh, that the ring leader uh, knows about the the messenger. So we gotta met, meet with the meet the ring leader, possibly defeat him, and uh, that's how we're gonna know who tried to kill us. I told you everything now. Please let me uh, keep me uh, keep your promise. Let him go, boys, or take him to Christian. Here's the thing. I don't know if I should trust him, and I feel like the right thing to do would be to take him to Christian. Uh, but I feel like I should let him go, boys. I feel like it would. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm going to let him go. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I got a feeling I got to let him go. I won't forget this. I'll start life over from scratch. Farewell and take care. I feel like that's going to be um, a ripple effect for me. It's going to be really good for me. So we know where the camp of assassins is at. We all we just simply have to go there. And, uh, and see if we can catch them off guard. I don't have the knights with me anymore though, so I gotta be extra careful. I only have one heart. Uh, you walked along a path between two crooked pines. An old ho hovel loomed in the distance. There are assassins guarding the road. Shoot the sentry? Talk? Or follow? Are we going guns blazing, boys? I don't know if that's a good idea. I still got Michelle with me, I'm pretty sure, but even if I have Michelle, I don't know. Let's let's try to shoot the sentry first. Uh, the shot was successful. There we go. So we killed the sentry. By miracle, you dealt with the sentry. Move forward. There we go. You walk in 100 meters and enter the whole shack on Enbird. Good. You open the shack door almost without a creak. A man is sitting inside, thoughtfully looking at the map of the Kingun. This must be Alric. Let's talk to him. I already expected to see anyone but you. Damn it, who are you? Wait a minute. Brother? So you're alive? Why did you come why did you come here? What what are you talking about? Where's my ring? Well exactly. Where's my ring? I got it. Well I'll take it now. I'll uh right shoots uh, shoots his head. Shooks his head. He doesn't seem hostile. You heard screams from the street and Ulrich ran out the door. Watch through the open door. What, what just happened? The bodies of the assassins lie by the fire. Next to them stands a stunned Ulrich. Instinct tells you to leave the shack. What just happened, boys? A crossbow flies into Ulrich's chest and knocks him back a few meters. Go to the sound of the shot. Go to Ulrich. No, he's got the ring. I gotta get to him. He... he he has the ring. Forgive me. Take your ring. Finish off Ulrich. 
I'm, I'm taking my ring. There I go. There it is. I'm taking the ring. Forget about Alric. Alric ended you the ring and passed out. A crossbow bolt with a whistle near your ear. Go to the sound of shot, boys. A mass shooter begins to reload his crossbow and he notices you and heads towards you holding a melee weapon. Get ready. Out of the corner of your eye, you notice Serpentine's tail in the bushes. Uh, the blow of the enemy broke the, uh, the rope that held your trousers. Now they're falling. Uh, hold the trousers with hands. Take down the enemy's trousers. I'll do that. And I'm dead. Well, that didn't work. That was great, boys. That was a great move right there. All right. Let me just do uh, the same thing I just did right there, I guess. Ended up dying. That was not good. Let me just uh, do that. The, the sa exact same thing, boys. Now, we don't care about uh, Ulrich. Let me just take my ring again. Go to the shot. Get ready. Uh, oh, okay. There's a there's another thing. So, it's not my trousers anymore. Great. What's this now? See, so the enemy kneels down and surrenders. Shake his hand. Take away the weapon. Stay put. I'm going to take away this weapon. Are oh, you what the? As soon as you approach, you immediately get stabbed. Oh, come on, man. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting annoyed by this. How many times am I gonna die, boys? And who is this shooter? What, what is going on here? Like, I managed to get around super quickly and get everything right, and, and all of a sudden I gotta go fight this dude who keeps killing me. In the end of battle, eat of battle, you ba your back hitch on a berry. Keep watching the enemy. Why? How did I die? All right, what's the thing now? What the fuck do I do? The enemy desperately throws his weapon at you. Fight off. Duck. Please tell me if I duck, it's the right move. I swear. There it is. Luckily, the blade flies just above the top of your head. About them time. Serpent Lee jumped onto the shooter and grabbed his head with his claw or her claws. After getting rid of the cat, he turned uh, uh, to run. I'm going after him. All right. Killer ran behind a rock and disappeared for, uh, from the sight. Examine the rock. So that must be just one of the assassins, I guess. Who was Ulrich, by the way? I guess he was supposed to be the ring leader, but somehow he died in... I I got the ring, so I don't even know why I'm going after Killer anymore. Uh, there was a narrow gap behind the rock. Having made a torch from what have, was in the camp, you went inside. Why am I running after this guy? Do I want to get... Killed every single time or what? What's going on here, boys? Uh, you found yourself, your, uh, yourself inside a dirty, damp cave. Go to the left. Right. Left or right. Always go left, boys. Labyrinths. Uh, always go left. The cave narrows, then expands. You have been walking for half an hour, but there's still no traces of the assassin. I guess we're keeping going, boys. You came to an abrupt stop. There is a crack of your, in your path. You lower the torch to look inside, but you can't even see the bottom. Throw the torch down. Jump down. Find another way. I'm going to throw the torch down, boys. Let's see. Torch didn't fly for long, but certainly it went out with a hiss. Well, now I'm in the dark. Uh, I'm going to jump down. Whatever happens, happens, boys. You landed in water. It cushioned your fall. All right, good. So I'm in the water. So good. When you got out of the water, you noticed a light ahead. Let's go to the light, boys. After walking for a while, you came across the exit of the cave. The royal garden and the walls of the castle are in front of you. Really? A second entrance into the castle. Look around to the castle. I'm going to look around first. You've discovered barely distinguishable... Footprints that lead to the entrance of the labyrinth, but they end here. You've come to the gate which leads to the garden, but there are no guards. You can freely e enter the court courtyard. The sounds of celebration can be heard from the main building. Let's enter and see what's happening, boys. When you opened the doors of the main hall, you were blinded by the light of the room. You stumbled and fell into fr in front of the crowd. Now an almost forgotten face looms over you. It's impossible. There he is. There's Victor. Stand up. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's probably him or somebody else tried to kill me, boys. Uh, the courtier surrounded, uh, surrounded you and helped you to stand. Victor admitted that you really were the prince who disappeared on a hunting trip. The ring served as the main proof of your royal relationship and none of the nobility could dis dispute this. Well, there we go. At least now that I got the ring, right? 
You are back in the castle, in your castle. Ways of, uh, are open. Okay, so. Now I've got myself back in the castle and we're good. For coronation, am I going to be king now? What's going on, boys? Uh, are we already beginning towards the end? Okay, hold on. I got three hearts from that. All right, I slept well, I guess. That's about damn time. You slept for several days in the morning, found yourself in the royal chambers. Unexpectedly, the servant brought you breakfast in bed. Uh, look in the, I'm going to look in the mirror. First off, you found a pair of your aunt's hair, uh, aunt's hair by the mirror. She must have visited you uh, while you were resting, maybe. I guess we're having breakfast. You haven't eaten so deliciously for a long time, but unfortunately your meal was interrupted. Your grace, you have visitors. His lordship Alexander and uh, Victor wish to see you. Accept Alexander, accept Victor. I don't want to see anyone. I'm going to accept Alexander. Uh, ring in with shiny armor or a knight enter your chamber. You didn't immediately recognize your cousin. So glad you're back, cousin. However, this was the, uh, to be expected from a member of your di our dynasty. Uh, nothing can break us. Sounds insincere. I'm glad to be back too. Uh, well, I'm glad to be back. You know what? This armor is beautiful, my guy. Thank you. This is a gift from my mother. All that remains is to use uh, use it and in practice. All right. Well, I'm glad to be back, I guess. I'm already on the castle, so I'll see you there. I'm interested in hearing about your adventures. Yeah, sure. Uh, your grace, uh, whatever. All right, so let's accept that, Victor. What does he want to tell us? I still can't believe you're alive, your highness. This is a great happiness for the whole kingdom. Get to the point? Well, I haven't came to senses yet. I'm sorry, but I have important businesses. Uh, we need to have a coronation as soon as possible. This ceremony will give you full power, which no one will doubt. I've already prepared everything. The ceremony will take place today. Uh, get dressed. Let's get dressed, boys. We don't have any uh, any time to, uh, to wait for that. We need to uh, be crowned right away. So uh, we get we are stopped from being in danger all the uh, all the time. The eye arc place, uh, a cr uh, places a crown on your head and says a prayer for a long reign. Suddenly feel like uh, sleeping. I'm gonna close my eye. I'm not closing my eye. I'm not gonna ah, either thing. This is publicly. If I close my eye, boys, this is not good. I need. I, I gotta show. I don't. I gotta close my eyes. This is. You dozed off and then suddenly woke up. Thankfully, the speech isn't over yet. All right, good. I was afraid I was going to get killed or something because I, uh, if I closed my eyes. The Ayark proclaimed you the king. The assembled are applauding. Good. Put on the crown, boys. All right. So uh, the, uh, so now we are king. Good. Finally. So your majesty, we should have a feast in your honor of your ascension to the throne. Let's celebrate. Let's do without a feast. What do you rec uh, recommend? Uh... Let's celebrate. Sure, let's celebrate, boys. So, Your Majesty, we should have a feast. Okay, so you announce the feast. People are happy with the news. Everyone loves free food. There we go. So, uh, people actually love me now. Good. So, uh, we got not only hearts now, we also have crown stuff. Interesting. My, my king, now the entire kingdom is watching your every decision. Protect the loyalty of your subjects. Otherwise, the enemies will take advantage of your weakened reputation. All right. So speaking of my enemies, let's go, boys. While the others are having fun at the feast, you and Victor discuss royal affairs. Exactly. Uh, my king, Torek is investigating several object subjects that have already come under suspicion. You may not worry about it and focus on uh, your duties. What about my responsibilities? Well, I want to know the details of this investigation. All right, I want to know everything about it. Uh, in the armory, but I guess he'll fill you on the details once he's got enough evidence. Yeah. All right, so you must take care of the inhabitants. All right, all good, boys. I'm sorry it's late, but I must return to my duties. Sure. Uh, set off to a meal. Uh, sure, ahead. I'm going to go. Uh, very, uh, Victor bowed and left you. There we go. So I'm setting off a meal, boys. So a large table has been laid for you and your favorite dishes were prepared. When another delicacy was brought to you, you remembered how hard it was in the forests and fields of the kingdom. 
These thoughts make you sad. Enjoy delicacies. Try to forget. Go for a walk. I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy the delicacies, boys. Who cares? Obesity. You're getting used to eating in a, in incomprehensible situation. Hold on now. That's not good. I'm gonna just try to forget about it. But it's hard to forget. Alright, well I guess I'm going for a walk then. Never mind. Not really much of an option. Uh, the evening ended without uh, many adventures and then the morning you were overladen with royal duties. Alright, next morning boys. We're actually doing stuff as, king, as a king. So that's really cool. Uh, Your Majesty, the ambassadors of the southerners have come to the castle. We must attack them. Uh, who else is there? Sergio, Viceroy of the Southern Kingdom. Uh, of the Southern King, he's the most uh, powerful man in the South now. Why not the King himself? Well, the King himself is long dead. He had a daughter, but she disappeared. Until the heir is found, the Viceroy rules the South. Wait a minute, that sounds awfully like me right there. So you mean to me, uh, you mean to tell me that uh, all this happened at the same time, pretty much? Let them come in, I guess. Whatever, let them come in. Sergio enters, enters the hall with a small delegation. Your Majesty, congratulations uh, on your ascension to the throne. I came from afar on a very important matter. Did you arrange an assassination attempt on me? Wouldn't it be foolish to visit you after that? And what's the deal? Well, as you know, the peace between our kingdoms is fragile. Clashes at the border are no longer unco uncommon. The reason for this are the eastern lands that used to belong to us. Alright, go ahead. Your father, Inherd, uh, mainly took these lands from us. It's your fault. What lands? Uh, Sir John folded a map in front of you and pointed to the eastern mark. His fingers outlined the courtyard of Abatur, fortress in the valley in the village of Berg. Okay. So what? You must act wisely. Return these lands to us. Listen, this is not how you work. You don't barge in to my throne room and tell me to give you back a territory just because you feel like it. My father made sure to beat your ass to have this land. You gotta beat me my ass. Like you got they're gonna have to beat me over that kingdom uh, over these territories, boys. Or they're gonna have to pay me. Uh get out, I'll think about it. Listen to advisors, listen uh, listen let's listen to advisors. Uh begin to whisper among themselves. In her regretted about capturing the eastern inheritance, but now these lands are ours, and it's too late to change anything. Listen to Alexander. We don't have to give anything away, and it's obvious that the southerners want war. We need to prepare and get ahead of them. Alright, get the fuck out of here. Get the hell out of here. Southerners were ready for such an answer. He kept a straight face. There we go. All right, but well, we'll come back. Yeah, you do that. You come back whenever you want, my guy. All right. Your anti threats that they don't mean anything to me, man. This guy barges into my throne and demands to have his territories back. Yeah. Who does he, who does he think he is, boys? Obviously. Honestly, boys. All right. So, first off, we got the statue of Innard. We've got the barracks. Let's go to the statue, I guess. Unexpected event. Heavy iron gauntlet led in, uh, laid on, our, on your shoulder. Turn around, I guess. Uh, will you find the, the, the time to practice with me? I want to test some of, uh, some of my new kicks. Train with the guards? Well, okay, sure. We'll train with him, boys. You went to the garden just like when you were a child. All right, let's train with him. Why not? What weapon will you choose? A real sword? Wooden sword? Cro a real sword. There we go. You have taken two excellent long swords. The nobles have gathered in the garden to watch you practicing duel. Alexander is trying to confuse you by choosing different positions to attack. Wait and watch. Don't watch. No. Wait and watch, boys. Let's be smart about this. You caught the moment when Alexander began to swing and guess the direction of his blow. Nobles applaud you. There we go. I'm. I. I fought some trolls, man. I fought some trolls. I'm a knight myself. This guy's not gonna get me. Uh, he's fallen into a rage and fights as if he's uh, serious. Defend, run away. I'm gonna defend. 
You paired with the blow with the sword, but Alexander fell into your friends and struck you several blows with an iron fist. Ooh. He actually hit me there. Got a hit. Uh, stop. Do you want make, uh, to make life easier for Southerners? No one will benefit you if you kill each other. Well, we've only just begun. Torek, Torek lectures you to, the two of you for a long time and the mood continues to continue to duel. It's completely gone. All right, all right, I guess. I lost an art, though, uh, from that. That's not good. Maybe I should have run away. I don't know. I feel like that's a coward's thing to do. In front of you is a dedicated, dedicated statue of the inner earth. On one side, it uh, was overgrown with moss. And on the other, it was covered in a web of cracks. I want my own statue. A well-known sculptor has arrived at the castle on your order. There we go. It's an honor to work on a statue for you. I know you've been through a lot recently. Let me know. How do you see yourself? The king? A mere commoner, boys. I see myself as a, 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 a normal person. Write down something and make some sketches. There we go. Right, but that's not enough. Let me clarify. What traits do you want to show with this work? Peacefulness? Militancy? Militancy, boys. There it is. Okay, okay. I'm already imagining this statue. Last question. What is the most important to you? Intelligence, strength, kind of both a little bit, but I'll say intelligence, I guess. A few days later, the sculptor asks if you'd like to see his creation. Let's take a look, boys. Oh, God, this is, this is so exciting. What do you think, your majesty? How do you like my work? It's awful. I want to poke my eyes out. No, you know what? It's, it's a masterpiece. The sculptor lit up with happiness. There we go. It's pretty good. Uh, so what do we do with it? Find a new sculpture? No, leave it. It's good, boys. Immortalized. There we go. So the castle is decorated with a new statue and the sculpture was uh, uh, awarded from uh, for its work. There it is, boys. So we got our own statue now. That's good. That's good. We got to reward these sculptures, man. It doesn't matter. It could have been axe track and I don't care. Would have been good anyways for me, boys. Now we got to head down to the barracks. Torex post is near the barracks, but you don't see him in there. Search outside, search inside. I'm gonna search outside really quick. You heard a noise coming from the corner? A red-faced Torek is screaming at the guard. He can barely stand on his feet and look at his command looks at his command with glassy eyes. He doesn't even understand what he wants from him. Find out what's happening. Wait for Torek. I'm gonna wait for him. Let him do his thing, boys. Torek notices you and gives the guard a strong, strong slap, showing him to bow down. Damn. Uh, my king, this fool was supposed to patrol the area around the barracks, but he decided to empty the stocks of wine instead. Ain't that something? Well done, soldier. Continue, Torek. You know what? No, well done, soldier. That's my man right there. There you go. The guard raises a toast to you, and Torek shakes his head. Well, that's not good for the kingdom, though. Whatever, boys. You will have to punish soldiers on one way or another. Can you figure out how to teach these soldiers a lesson? This will be a good practice for you. I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for him, man. Don't worry. Love for sadism is instilled gradually. All right, so the guard was assigned a hundred of squats, push-ups, and 30 kilometers of running, as well as a giving a foot massage to his captain. Uh, that sounds cruel a little bit. A foot massage, come on now. Having seen enough of the suffering of the guard, you return to your post. Conti continue the conversation. Uh, you found ju me just in time. I need to tell you about the new order in the castle. Listen in, boys. I had tightened the security measures after the assassination attempt. Now, every time you get to inspect your lands, a detachment of bodyguards will go with you. I want to go by myself. Well, how's the investigation going exactly? Now, this story is one big mystery for us. I've already started collecting information and will soon present you with my version. But there is almost uh, also a more serious threat. Southerners have gained strength and demand their land back. Experience tells us that war can be avoided, but we have to prepare for the worst. Who is leading the investigation? Uh, it is me, my king, but there are some complications. It would be worth entrusting the case to a spy. But you do not have one. Actually, I might have one. 
I might have Michelle, boys. After all, I know about Michelle. If I can find him, uh, I will find the killer. What do you suggest exactly? What does he suggest? Uh, made a thoughtful, thoughtful look and could feel the gears in his head running. Uh, my ta by taking on many things at the same time, you run the risk of doing something wrong. You can take over investigation or the preparations for the war. Or leave the rest to me and the castle. I want to run the investigation. I will prepare the war. I can do everything on time. I'm going to run the investigation and let Torek uh, deal with the war. He should be good enough with that. Uh, let me run the investigation. Then your console will deal with the preparations for the war. Now let me leave. I'll prepare information on the investigation. There we go. Exactly what I wanted, boys. So I want to focus on the investigation, on the whole thing. Kidnapping. I'm curious about the girl as well that got kidnapped. Uh, from the Southerner's perspective as well. Very curious about that. We got to figure out what's going on over there. What's the big plan? Very important to do that. Forget about the whole war situation. If it happens, it happens. Uh, we're going to focus on that s sometime later. Let the council focus on that. I'm sure they're... Uh, I'm sure they're competent enough to deal with that. They don't need my help for that. Uh, so, castle, courtyard. Or the investigation, boys. So, uh, I... I think we need to do the investigation. Well, I guess I can actually leave, but it's not going to happen just yet, boys. So remember, do leave a like and subscribe if you didn't enjoy the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.